In this video, we will see how can we start executing the commands in the connected architecture. As in the previous video, we have already covered like how can we establish a connection using the SQL connection class. Now we are good enough to execute any command. So in this video, we will just make a simple insert statement and we'll see how those executions will take place. Now, if I want to execute a SQL command for inserting a record in the SQL table, what I can do, I can simply come to the SQL server and can execute this command insert into TBL departments as this is the structure of the TBL departments table. First is department ID, then the department name and the location ID. So that's the department ID, department name and location ID. This is a very correct command if I want to make any insertion in my department's table. But I don't want to execute it from here. I want this particular command to be passed from the Visual Studio.NET application. So what I'll do, I'll simply cut this from here and will come here. And inside this, what I'll have to do, I'll simply paste this command. All right. So uh, what does that mean? Because uh, what I'm done, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm using the ad.int code for inserting the data. Here in this example, we will go for the hard coded data. In our next video, we'll see how can we start picking the data from the controls. So uh, what I have done so far is I have already taken the SQL command object. SQL command will be there inside the system.data.sql client only. So what I want is I want to execute this command in the SQL command object that is CMD. So what should we do is I will initialize this CMD that is new SQL command and I will pass this command inside this. Now this command will execute this particular this statement for us. But the question is it doesn't know like in which particular uh, server or in which particular database you will find this particular table. So we need to tell that through the connection object. That is the second parameter because in the connection object, we have already passed the connection string, which is telling about the location of the server and the database on which we are targeting. So from this connection object, we will be able to get the connection details such as the username, password, server name, and the database name and which command we need to go for that will be told by this command variable. So my command is ready. We just need to execute this command when the connection is open. So for doing that, what I'll say is cmd dot execute non query. All right. So what does we mean by non query? Because we are not querying for the data. It is not a data query language. It is not a select statement. So for any DML, we will prefer this method only that is execute non query, which is returning us an integer means if I'm inserting one record, so one record in the table will get uh, affected and this integer will return only that effective number of rows. All right. So means in this case, when I will insert one record, it will return us one. So you can store that in an integer for further usage. I'm not going to use that. So I'm just not saying anything. And let's pass a message box here showing data submitted. All right. So and later I close this connection. So let's execute this form and see whether the output is uh, desired or not. So let's click here as I already discussed, like I'm not going to take the values from the text box. We'll start doing it in the next video. So let's click it and it's saying data submitted. Let's come to the database to check and let me execute this SQL select command. And here you can see 90 admin one, the data which we inserted from the area.net application. That is the windows application of visual studio. So this is how you can start executing the commands. And here I just co uh, covered the DQ DML command. In our next video, we'll see how to do the insert, update, delete, and data retrieval using the forms.